Hello, so it's been a long time. I've actually filmed quite a few videos, but I just didn't like the quality of them. Um, and yeah, I had my Korean address package filmed. Um, I had two of them actually come in, both from different people. And then um, I had like some albums I unboxed throughout the week because I am, surprise, surprise, collecting Chisung got some new nct albums which i already um unboxed and then i had some like exciting mail like i had um an mmt um signed uh album from insung come in so i filmed some of that but i didn't like how it turned out so i decided to scrap it and yeah i'm sorry for the delay in videos um i should have actually filmed a long time ago I just didn't like the quality of my videos. I didn't really feel motivated to film. But this time, we actually are gonna do a sorting video. Um, so this case, um, you know, you guys know I usually sleeve my cards and stuff, but I recently got this acrylic case from Ultra Pro. It was like three dollars. It's really cheap. But I felt like this would be a nice, safe way to store my cards. And on top, you could see Chisung. But um, I'm going to put away Chisung photo cards in a separate video because I actually got a collect book for him. So I'm just going to take out all of Chisung's cards, which are on the bottom. And put it back for next time. I am actually almost done collecting all of Chisung. Just need a little bit more of the more like rare ones and then we'll be good. But um, hopefully I can film that in like one or two months. But these are my stack of cards this month. Um, I have a lot of exciting photo cards. So let's get sorting. <laughs> Now we're going to sort the other inclusions. Okay, so I think we're going to start off with... Um, sf9 just because um i do have a lot of b2b photo cards to put away this time so we'll start off with sf9 even though i have quite a lot of exciting stuff for sf9 we have the sf9 binder <laughs> Okay, so I finally got the last two photo cards for his special history album and I am very happy about that because I am finally complete with his album photo cards. Okay, 
my gosh, I finished his Wow Cafe page slash, I don't know, Taiwanese photo cards at the top because I needed something to put there. But, uh, oh my gosh, this is complete now. This was one of, like, the collections I was kind of, like, concentrating on for the longest. I only had this photo card, but then all of a sudden, I got four more. Um, but yeah, after finding this one, and then, uh, it took me, like, three months, four months until I found another one. And then after I found another one, I just found one right after each other. So, I'm so excited that this is finally complete. It looks so nice. I just love Wild Cafe photo cards because they're all like selfie cards like except this one but you know this one's really cute but it's all selfie and i don't know it's just has its own feel so i felt like i should put it all on one page so this page is complete no more adding stuff <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is my first uh, finished page for In Song's non album stuff, which is super exciting because this is kind of a hard page to complete. I mean, Universe is kind of hard, and then Love FNC. I know recently it's I've seen it a lot more, but at the time when I got this, that was the first time I've seen it. So that, and then RPM fan sign I recently got, which is my favorite fan sign photo card. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite in some uh, photo cards just because it's RPM era. I love RPM era and he just looks so good in it. I love his hair. It's doodle too. So that's why I double sleeved. And then this is his enough uh, fan sign photo card. I've only seen it once or twice. I know it's really rare. Um, yeah, so that one was, very expensive me and this other person were like bidding on it so yeah that was pretty expensive but i am very excited to have it and this is my complete page and i really like it because it's like all like same hairstyle in song so it looks really cohesive <laughs> Oh my gosh good guy page is coming along i really like this i know these two um china good guy fan signs also has the red hair one so it'll look really nice um but yeah i got the good guy fan sign card i got a lot of fan signs i got most of the pre-glorious fan sign um photo cards so when they actually did in-person fan signs i got all of those um uh, fan sign cards except for the good guy one china ones i can't find those anyway those are super rare but um the reason i put this one in um if you guys know i already had this one but the reason is um i know i knew i had this one coming because i 
have to buy like two photo cards sometimes to even be eligible to purchase from a seller so um i just bought this one because it was like one of the cheapest ones and i felt like i could easily sell it if i had a duplicate but yeah that is why i um put that one back in my second page is complete oh my gosh i really like how those two look oh i really prefer the version twos i don't know why but i really prefer the version twos more but i know the version twos are harder to find i don't know why but they're kind of harder to find so i'm super lucky i was able to find that and also i got it in like one of these um boxes so i was thinking if i should put this in the back like that so it says body fantasies but i'm not sure maybe i'll i'll leave it like that i don't know i don't know i really like the case that it came in so maybe i'll leave it like that or for now since it's bulky i and, and the cell even included like a income sticker maybe i'll just put it in the back for now so pretty i really like the pink color but yeah, this page was, I mean, it wasn't that hard for me, honestly, to find everything um, because I, you know, this at this point, I was already standing at Zephron, so I knew of all of the new stuff that was coming out. So I was able to get this really quickly from my friend who did a group order for them. And then I was able to get this one pretty easily because I knew it was coming out. So I just kept searching on Twitter, found it, and yeah. So Okay, so I finished this page almost. I have this one coming. This is the holographic card from the Noobcom merch. But yeah, I this line is like all pop-up store. Um, from here to here, it's Noobcon, and then these are the Cape Town for your pre-order benefits. So yeah, I think um, I wasn't. I actually bought this because I thought I won't secure it because I actually did buy the voice keyring through my friend but I thought I would not get this specific one because you know how rare it is because I only bought one and um, we, we had like four in total and um, I was pretty sure we were not going to get Insung but we actually pulled Insung so I pulled the fat L because I paid a lot for this photo card so yeah but it's whatever what could i do now and then this um card what a card uh my group order manager did not pull any in song for this or this so i had to buy it from korea but i found those pretty easily this one took me a little bit longer to find but you know i feel like if you search you could still find it <laughs> Okay, so I have a lot to say about this page. Um, yeah, so 
I don't know why SF9 keeps doing multiple China ban signs because um, this was this photo card is the most common one and then it's this one which is the China ban sign 3 and then this is China ban sign 1 I think it's this order um, if it not then these two are flopped but um this one I didn't even know about it's pretty hard to find I've never seen it like being sold that much um but yeah I this these two came in a set so I just um bought that one bought this one with that one I actually do have this one coming from Singapore but thank goodness I did this because I think that mail is lost um I got this one from Singapore before the this one that I was supposed to get so I was supposed to have two of these but I only have one now so I don't know how that's working out but um yeah I guess like um what is it special history is finished like all the merch noobcon fantasy race um band signs I mean I am missing MMT and Apple Music but uh, again I don't plan on getting that yet because that is kind of out of my price range even though I've almost nearly reached my price range for some of these cards but um you know after I complete everything I probably will go back and buy those but for now I will wait and cry <laughs> thinking about how expensive MMT is <laughs> but yeah this page is complete basically because um they didn't release anything yet <laughs> i mean they released some like japan like md but there was no photo cards so um there was nothing to collect but i got the apple music um pure to benefit and i am done for um photo cards uh but till now i just have to go back and look but i caught up finally <laughs> Okay, so I finally got the full set um, because I know I just had one before, but um, I actually bought the full set finally. So it's here. I wasn't sure if I should put this after or before this page because this is like all like sensuous. This one's RPM, but sensuous. This is like also a meal era. So I wasn't sure if I should put this after, but then the back of the four pocket is all like, you know, like um photo book like after rpm like after good guy like 2020 stuff so um yeah i just decided to put it here because eventually when i get more stuff i will like separate it so for now it will be out of order but next <laughs> Okay, so this page, um, I wasn't sure if I should put the anniversary stuff before or after NoobCon, but I feel like in my photo card section, I had NoobCon first and then, um, pop-up store, so I did it like that. Um, but then, yeah, oh, I think because NoobCon happened before this, I'm not quite sure, I'm like really pat on memory, but these two are from the pop-up store so if you actually went to the pop-up store you could um print these photos out for free so there is two per member that you could print out and the person that you know got me my um acrylic photo set and the uh postcard and memo set actually uh printed these out for me with a small service fee i wanted it so i got it i think um you can no longer get these they're pretty limited i think 
I mean, they're free, but like, free at the pop up store, but like, I mean, I don't think you get them printed anymore, but I mean, it's pretty cute, so I got it. I think it, it's, it's official. It's just on like, um, photo paper, but it's official. And I put the season's greeting scent thing on the back. That is it for my SF9 binder. Now on to my other boy group binder. We have my other boy group binder now. Oh, as you probably could see, I got a lot of new filters. So I got blue for B2B and then I think I got like a pinkish color for Toyon. I got a green color for Treasure Toyon. And then I got this maroon color for Eric. Yeah, so I actually started separating my B2B photo cards just because um, I thought it was time because I actually did finish a lot of my um, collection. And I have five cards and then two of them are right now on their way. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Thriller is complete. Ah, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, Thriller. Finally, I have completed another B2B set. Um, Actually, this set is kind of meaningful to me because uh, Thriller was the last um, B2B album I got. And um, back then, that's when uh, Cube discontinued some of their albums. Like, I mean, the photo cards were hard to get, but even the albums, just the albums without the photo cards was hard to find. So I just got an album without the photo card. So I needed a photo card for Thriller because I had the album, but I didn't have a photo card. And I didn't really care which member I had at the time. I was just like, let me have like one of each like member. So I decided on Unguang because the last like two albums I needed was still in print. It was like our moment or something. Um, it was like a, the, their newest album. So I knew like Unguang wasn't going to be in it. So I really wanted Unguang. So I went on like Zen Pop or something, a Japan proxy site. And that's the first and last time I used a proxy site. And I used a proxy site for one item. I used it for this one photo card. And... I got it from Japan and it wasn't that expensive honestly but I had the hardest time finding a Thriller photo card like the hardest time this was back before I used like K Twitter and stuff like that so there was like so little um you know international fans and stuff like that I even tried like Facebook I even had went on like a form page like a K-pop photo card sale form or something like that like I tried everything so my last resort was Zen Pop and I actually got this Unguang Thriller photo card <sighs> yep so that's kind of exciting that my hardest photo card to get actually was this one and I finished the whole set that's crazy <laughs> Oh my gosh, Move is finally coming along. Move is kind of harder to get because it is, again, two sets and, I don't know, not a lot of people get Move albums. I feel like Move is a really underrated album and concept, even though I love it. But yeah, I really like these photo cards. I really, really, really like Ogwang's photo cards. So I hope I get it soon because this is super cute. But um, I actually had this when I first started out, but I like traded it for like a Songjae card or something. I traded it for like Songjae's Thriller or something like that. But I finally got it back. And then um, I just need one more of Changsup's. 
and then one more of Mignon and then both of Unwang. So hopefully I could get that done soon um, because I really want to see a complete page. It's such a pretty spread. I feel like, I don't know, I might change it up a little. I might actually like, yeah, I might change it up a little. We'll see how I do it, but yeah. Oh my gosh, Winter's Tale is finally complete. I feel like I had like these five members for like the longest time. I had Minyuk before like once or twice even and I just traded it off for like other cards I wanted because I don't know why but I finally have Minyuk back for good now and this Eden card oh my gosh it's so cute this Eden card is actually a really popular card each time I so saw it being sold like it was bought right away so yeah this one's really precious and really cute one's really really cute i just love winter sale one of my favorite like b2b album <laughs> Oh my gosh, I also completed, um, I mean, I really, really like how it turned out. See, I, I like how the corners are out rather than this, so I might change it, change this up to look like this. But this is so cute. It looks so pretty because they're all like Polaroid themes. This, I mean, the last couple of cards I had to get, like the Minyoks and the Idun's, were the hardest. Um, everything else just like came. I didn't really like think about like completing, completing this until like I had like two or three more cards left to buy. So yeah, that is super exciting. <laughs> Finally, oh, oh my gosh, this is exciting. Oh my gosh, this is complete too. Ah, oh my gosh, this actually took me a while. I couldn't find Panil's for the life of me, but I finally found it and it's so pretty. I really like it. <sighs> This, I don't know why this one took so long because it is a newer one and there was only one photo card but I don't know why it took me so long but I finally have it finished. Yeah, so I didn't actually separate these cards yet because there is four per member, so I don't really know how I, how I want to do it yet. I'm just gonna get some more cards and maybe like think about it and see how I want to do. But if I want to do like one concept, one concept, one concept or by member, I don't really know how I want to do it. So we'll see. But I still do need more cards. 
like i only i didn't even complete a set for a member yet so this is a long ongoing process still <sighs> yeah super exciting Oh my gosh, I love this page so much, even though um, Unguang isn't in it, but I just like baby photos a lot, like, <laughs> I don't know why, um, but, you know, I am missing three, I actually did buy all three of them recently, so this page is almost complete. Okay, so these are the pre-order benefits for uh, B2B for you. There's so many pre-order benefits for this, so I just decided to do Make Star One and Make Star Two because um, I actually um, applied for Make Star One, didn't get in. But then the next like most available one I found was Make Star 2, so I got it and I have the other two members on the way. And then same for this. For now I'm just gonna have like one page of all the members, which is still a lot, but I have two Minyoks coming just because I had no Minyok pulls. So I decided to buy the um, with the two empty spaces that I had left on this page, just by all minyoks. So, two minyoks are coming. Okay, so this is really, really ambitious of me, and I don't know if I could finish, but I kind of want to collect all 66 photo cards for Songje uh, before he comes back from the military, which I know is impossible because the album is right now out of print. Why, Cube? Why? There's 66 photo cards. Why are you making it out of print? So on K Twitter, it's going for like $30 per photo card, which is insane and people are bidding for it especially this like crown like concept king concept whatever concept it is this concept is going for like 50 dollars honestly for a piece of paper but it's crazy so i am still looking hopefully q puts it back in stock or you know i just collect six and call it a day because i do have three coming but we'll see because I know some US stores still have you could clock in stock so I might pick up a couple albums. <sighs> but yeah, I mean if he comes back from the military and I still didn't collect 66, I'm not gonna like kill myself over it. I could always collect still, but you know, kind of want to do that. I started this way too late. Um I should have started this like last year. But um, you know, I'm not like really really focusing on this. This isn't like my main main priority like collection. Anyways, a collection I started before collecting these um you could clock albums. I was collecting some broadcast for B2B, especially this set because I really like this set. A uh, photo card it's like a selfie set. So I got uh Songjas. I don't know why I'm talking, but <laughs> Yeah, and I bought Minyuks too, but I don't know. We'll see what I'll do with it. Um, and I also bought a Minyuk um, Hotezong broadcast because it was too cute to resist. Resist. So I actually bought that, but I mean, if I ever want to sell it, I could sell it. Um, yeah, but I got some just super cute. <laughs> So I'm not actively collecting these yet, but um, I actually got this as a gift from a person that 
collects B2B albums but doesn't collect photo cards so she kindly gifted this to me this and then also this Yuka Clock one which I'm super thankful for she also gifted me two other photo cards but um I already re-gifted them to people that um, needed them because I already had them in my collection but that was super kind of her she really did not have to do that I really have to work on these two next but I really I'm not motivated to start on the larger ones yet. Oh my gosh, I finally completed Spark. Oh, this was so dang hard for no reason. But finally, sellers started um, posting more toy and stuff for sale. So I was able to buy this. Even thought I had a trade lined up for Jamie um, for a toy and trade, but I guess I'll have the duplicates of this. I'm sure I could sell it pretty easily. So I have a piece, um, AR, which is super exciting. I have a magnet line for ARs just because it fills up the space. So, yeah, I think Toa is my bio striker most definitely. Uh, yeah, I, I think, I think he is. I really want to collect his photo cards too, but just collecting Toa was super hard for me. I mean, Toa is really easy to find, but I was like, let me just collect enough for a nine pocket for now because you know one day they're gonna release so many stuff okay next Okay, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. I was like so close to selling off all of my Toyong uh, photo cards just cause, I don't know, I didn't really appreciate them as much as like my other collections. And I don't know, I was just overwhelmed by um, YG always releasing. I just felt out of touch. I wasn't really listening to Trashing Music that much. So I thought about selling, but then I was like kind of sad after I posted them all up. So I quickly deleted them and decided to continue my collection. But I am not collecting anything else for treasure, like simply album photo cards. I made that rule clear for myself. No 100 day uh, Selka photo card, no welcome kit, no like period of benefits, even though they're cute. Oh, well, I do collect period of benefits for K-Town because I buy my photo cards from, I mean, I buy my albums for K-Town, so I do collect K-Town photo cards, but that's the line, like, the line is drawn at K-Town, nothing else, because they release too much, and I already spent so much money on Toyong, which is money I'm not gonna get back, um, I actually did buy his Yes24 fan sign card, which cost me a lot of money, and I don't know if I could get the whole amount back, which is kind of sad because I shouldn't have bought it in the first place if I was going to sell him. But, you know, it's life. Um, and, you know, at the time, I was so passionate about collecting everything and anything for Toyong. So, yeah, but I'm very just looking at his album cards. I am happy and I think I am going to keep this collection. Chapter 3 is almost complete. Wow, I'm taking my real sweet time with these collections, but it's just because my K address package, they don't come as often just to save on shipping. So that is why, but uh, it's coming along. Wish you were 
Okay, so Eric, as you could see, this is another collection that I was not too certain about because I was so 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 into the boys for a couple like months. But like again, I don't really watch that much boys contents anymore. Not really into them as much as before, but I decided to collect Eric because I actually do really so enjoy the boys. I was also sad about this collection after posting it, so I decided to not go through with it. Um, but you know it's all subject to change later on so i had the two limited to start uh photo cards here i decided not to collect that anymore because i don't know where i'm gonna find those but if i find those i'll probably buy them again but i mean i was really lucky with them the first time and then i did sell this one but i bought my replacement so that should be coming so for now uh these two will stay there and then there will be a photo card there Oh, I actually do have off air. I had bought off air way, 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 way before I um decided to drop Eric. So I have that finally here. And then I actually did buy something for here. I bought a broadcast photo card to fill up the page. I mean, I have a broadcast photo card, but I don't have the two limited ones, which is crazy. But, you know, that's life. But yeah, so excited for the broadcast to come. This page is complete. Yes, I was wondering why this wasn't here the last time I filmed, but you know, now it's here. It was still in Korea, that's why, but yes. Question, the question is, should I combine these two? I probably should, right? Yeah, I'll probably combine those soon. Yay, I am complete. This is like my misc page. Um, right now I do have the other tail in a PC holder. But yeah. This is my complete collection. I probably would combine these two pages soon. Um, but yeah. I'm very excited about my collection. I am thinking about doing some major like renovations to my binders. I want to um, put B2B in its own binder and then have a Magnus collection just because I only collect Magnus. Like, um, I mean, Toyong from Treasure is not the Magnus, Jongwon is, but surprisingly, Jongwon is my bias wrecker. But um, yeah, so he is my bias wrecker. But uh Toyang is like part of the Magnet line so i'm gonna write like Magnet's collection on it or something and then like keep a binder for that because Toyan, you know eric and stuff like that and Toyang, which will be really cute i do collect chisong too who is the Magnet of nct but i have a collect book for him as i said super excited for it so yeah um i'll i guess do one of these soon i guess this was for february i guess i guess yeah i guess it'll be for february and then i might not do one for march because i don't think i don't know maybe if my career package does finesse and come my last and final career package i mean i 
still have more stuff i'm starting to use my own korean arrow so yeah super excited for that and yeah see you guys next time bye